Hello friends. Uh, okay, today I'm going to be replacing the rim on this big old T4 motor. Uh, I believe that what I'm doing today applies to pretty much any rim as long as you obey some of the um, some of the basic rules. Uh, you're going to need some kind of a drill or Allen key set. Uh, you're going to want a bucket that has a circumference that is compatible with the rim that you're trying to swap. In this particular case, the rim is uh, 12 and a half inches. This bucket is 12 inches, so it sits just great. You'll, you'll understand why we need that shortly. And then some kind of a blanket, uh, because the, the motor is going, when we push it out of here, it's going to fall onto the blanket. So we need to uh, have something for that. So let's go digging. Let's, darn it. Okay, let's try another approach. I will use this as a riser so that I don't damage the motor cable. I will open up the other side and we'll see if the other side's a little bit more. You definitely want to take notice that the cable goes out on the side where you have the writing. So the cable goes out on the writing side and it is also the side where the tire inflation plug goes out so uh, very important everything is on one side the cable the writing and the the hole here and on this side here there's there's nothing so all right so let's see if i can uh, yeah definitely a little bit more play a little bit more give on this side okay there we go the motor is still good what's not good is the rim all right it's nice and clean now technically the bearing can stay here <clears throat> you don't need to pull it I do have a bearing puller but we don't need to pull it and what we want is we want the motor to come out on the other side and it occurs to me that I don't actually even need to force this to come out because the bearings probably going to stay on the more I, I might be able to just push this whole thing out right through and then plop it right back into the uh, into the other one so I'm going to give that a shot so I've got my barrel here and I've got a big thick blanket at the bottom, I'm going to put everything in here. There we go. I'll bring the camera a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing, what's happening. Again, I haven't done this before. I've heard of how it's done and how it's supposed to happen. Uh, I'm going to put on some work gloves. Hope you can see. I'm not good with camera angles. Oh yeah, there we go. One, two, three. Okay, this side is free. One, two, three. Okay, I'm still stuck on this side here. Oh, I know what it is. It's this guy. This guy right here, the broken rim. Okay, that's what's holding it up. I'm going to break it. Oh, wow. Chinesium. Chinesium for you. <laughs> uh, 
There we go. Okay. Bucket's nice and lined up and everything. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. And so I've got myself a rim. Now, very important. Uh, I'm assuming that the direction and the polarity and all that matters. I don't know this for sure, but I'm going to make sure I keep everything well aligned here. And so I'm going to whip out the replacement rim. I've actually had this for a while and I don't really use it much, the T4, because we, uh, we got the extreme. So here's the brand new rim. The hole is over here and on this guy it was at the bottom. So this will be, now what we need to do is we need to get this back on the motor. Uh, and this is something that happens very rapidly whether or not you want it to because these things are attracted to each other so it's important that we be careful but it will it will snap in place so I will bring you back here <clears throat> here uh, and the motor which has all right so let's put this guy here and right, I'm gonna put on my gloves because I don't want to get my fingers pinched or smashed or whatever and when I put this back on here uh, the motor should suck all the way up so I'm keeping my fingers all the way out but it should happen fairly quickly there we go bonk <laughs> almost nearly damn knocked the camera over so the magnetism sucks it back in and um, we're basically done uh, all I need to do is put this back together, uh, obviously light tight all the screws. Uh, while I'm here, I will put a little bit of grease around the, um, the bearing. Uh, normally people use uh, marine grease. Uh, I use this because this is what I have. So, there we go. Now, rubber mallet, where's my friend? circular motion voila all right now it's time to put the screws back Okay, side number two. Uh, am I aligned here? No, I'm not aligned. Oh, oh, it's there. We go. Okay, cool. And there we go, boys and girls. That's how you change the motor in a T4 rim. Um, that was it. So we went from oh, this big old clunker that had a broken section here and what we found out later also had, where was it? Right here. It's like fatigue or something like that. So it had one of those, one of those little cracks over there. So I guess, yeah. So. This will go in the trash. Uh, this will go on the shelf because I don't need it right now. 
and uh, I don't know, maybe it can save somebody else's wheel or, or whatever. We'll see. But uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching.